Hi everyone, it's Liz De Nooney here. It is a beautiful Tuesday. We have just had the most gorgeous downpour of rain and it's sunny, so I know there's gonna be a magnificent rainbow out there. Today's topic is making reading fun. If you can see this book, I know you can see it backwards. It says, are you my mother? This is seriously one of my all time favorite kids books. Now, how can you make teaching punctuation fun? Because punctuation is something that a lot of kids don't think is fun. So I always found ways to make it really good fun. Let me show you something. I'm going to read this book to you. Every time there is a full stop, I am going to slap my leg really hard. But what you are going to do is you are going to say to your child, every time we see a full stop, you are going to clap or you're going to blow a little whistle or you're going to tap on a drum or you're going to bang some cymbals together. Anything you like. Let me show you how this works because this is something that you can do at home at night um, in bed, on your couch, during the day, Are You My Mother? Written and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. And as I said, one of my all time favorite books. A mother bird sat on her egg. There's the first one. Hello, Cindy, how are you this afternoon? The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. Can you get this, the feeling of it now? We are just doing full stops. Now remember, exclamation marks and question marks are still full stops because they have the full stop at the bottom of the symbols. So just start with full stops. I must get something for my baby bird to eat. I will be back. So away she went. Get the idea? The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. I love this picture. Look at that beautiful baby bird. Looking so surprised. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. Let's keep going. Such cute pictures. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. Can you hear those full stops? It's fun, but the kids start to think of it as a game. What they don't realize is they're actually indicating every time a complete sentence has occurred. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. And of course you know this story, I bet you do. Down, out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. There he goes, up the bottom of that beautiful bird, that tree. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. Get those claps, slaps, bangs, clings, any sound that you know that your child loves. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Can you hear it? You gotta keep going. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? Uh-oh. That is not a question. Are you my mother? He said to the, to the, <laughs> let me say it again, I've lost the plot. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. Now it's a full stop. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Did you get the idea? That is this book, Are You My Mother? One of my all time favorites. You can do this with really, really complicated books for older kids. You can do it with really simple ones for little kids. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you a little bit more of my multi-sensory punctuation style so you can get a feel 
for all the different ways you can make punctuation super fun. I hope you've got this book at home because it's a great one to start with. It's really simple. Anything by Enid Blyton, anything the Berenstein Bears, all these ones, it's so good because they invariably rhyme and there's lots of really simple words for children to be able to read when they're younger and learning how to do it. So I hope you have a good day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.